born in Spain, in Andalusia. My mother was on a yoga retreat there. And they had to rush her to hospital because her water broke and I was going to be born. <laughs> and just that morning, at sunrise, they had gone on a silent walk to where they could see the Sierra Nevada. She had stopped part way and gone back with her friend because she got tired fast because of being pregnant with me. But she said it was so beautiful, so purely divine, and yet so smartly crafted by whoever or whatever crafted the universe. And she wanted her little girl to have every one of those traits inside herself. To grow up holding every single one of those mountains inside her, forever and ever. So she named me Sierra, after the Sierra Nevada. And that is the story of my name. <laughs> While I don't appreciate the language, yes, I can tell you just BS it. And I'd appreciate if you stop trying to BS me in content or in effort. I see you, Sierra. I see your BS too, okay? You don't see me. I don't even know what that means. You see me. You don't see me. You haven't even given me any proof that I'm lying. I've already said I don't think yeah, okay, telling stories. BS, bullshit. So where's your proof? If I have to write in here, nice. If I have to write in here, I'm going to write a record so that at the end of the year, I can look back at just how many days I woke up. And mom hadn't gotten out of bed. And I made her breakfast. And she said no, and I said just three bites, Mom. And she took two and said go away. And at the end of the year, I can look back at just how many of those days I got home from school and Mom still hadn't gotten out of bed. At least that's what it looked like to me. And I wondered if she had gone to work, but if I asked, she would be mad or sad, so I didn't ask. So at the end of this year, I'll look back at that record and I'll know. And maybe it'll be evidence and I'll show it to child services. Or maybe it'll just be me thinking about how fast and how slow, how goddamn bullshitting slow a year goes by. That's, that's private. You know just as well as everyone else in this class, Sierra. Any page of your notebook that's private, you fold it down and I won't read it. You haven't folded a single page. If you had, I wouldn't have read it. If you had folded all of your pages, I would not have read them. But you didn't, so I read them. You haven't proved anything. You haven't proved that my mother didn't actually have me in Spain and name me after the Sierra Nevada. 
that. I mean, that's fucking sad. I know it sounds sad, but it's just a story. Just me telling stories like you said, and she wasn't always like that. The mum in the story, you haven't proved anything. The tale of the bedridden queen. I really like this one, actually. There once lived a queen who never left her bed. This was both sexy and sad, as she did come to have a daughter. But she never took her anywhere beyond the limits of that bed. She raised her on that bed. The young princess lived that way for years and years. Stop! Okay, you can stop. You call me. I tell lies. Stories. I, I, I tell lies. My mother is not a queen, and I am not a princess. You caught me. Can I go now? Does your mother get out of bed, Sierra? Does she go to work? Does she eat? Yeah, she does. Because I'm trying to help you. I see you, I see you falling, and I would really like to help you. I don't need your fucking help. For fuck's sake, I'm going to fall down every single page that's left in that notebook, so you can't read it and get ideas about all of it being true. It's not true. I made it up. You can go help someone else who needs your help, not me. You can fall down every page, that's your right. But I have to think you left them open because you wanted me to know. Even though you can't admit it, you, you want someone's help, you want someone to know. So, I lied. So whatever. Am I in trouble? No. What are you gonna make me do? Detention or something? I don't care. I can do detention. Whatever makes you feel like you're helping. Sierra, listen. No! I have listened to you! Read my private note out loud where anyone can defer to you! So what are you gonna make me do? Are you gonna humiliate me? Make me go up in front of the class tomorrow and say I lied and tell the true story? Would that make you happy? I'm not interested in humiliating Because my mum will get you fired. She'll call the school and say that he humiliated me publicly and get you fired. Now she won't. And I'm not interested in humiliating you. If I was, I had my shove and I didn't take it. That's not what I'm interested in. Well, good. I am interested in, actually, is you and your writing, and you are writing to your fullest potential. Because as beautiful a piece of as uh, as beautiful a piece of writing as that bit about Spain was, you can do more than that. You can do more than lie. Telling stories is lying. Telling stories is telling your version of the truth. So Spain might be the version of the truth you wish were yours, but it's not. And it might have a place in someone else's story that you write someday, but not in your story. Okay. Do you know why I like to write? Why I like to write so much I teach it to 16-year-olds of all people? No. I've never voluntarily spent time around 16-year-olds, even myself, especially myself. <laughs> right, okay. I like to write because that's where I give everything out. That's where when I'm mad, or sad, or both, or, or neither, whatever I'm feeling, I write about it. And everyone else can think it's fiction, or think it's real, but only I know for sure. Until I show it to someone who sees me. And they know because, because they can tell. And I teach writing because I happen to think that everyone should have someone to tell them that this is an outlet for all the personal and individual bullshit that we all have to deal with every day. But when you BS in your writing, and I can say you're BSing me, you're only cheating yourself of that outlet. I said I was sorry. You didn't have to get all deep and everything. <laughs> well, actually, you didn't say anything of the kind, but that's okay. Well, I am sorry. You don't need to be sorry to me. It's no skin off my back. It's you who lose it. So what I'd like you to do is sit here and write the real story of your name. And you don't have to show me if you don't want to. You don't have to show anyone or read it aloud to anyone. 
just for you. This is what we do for everyone. If you're going to think I can get away with anything, this is what I do when someone needs it. Because whether you believe me or not, I see something in you that not everyone does. And I'd like more people to see it. But here's your chance. Okay, okay. You don't need to be all like profound and intense and stuff. <laughs> well, then write. I will. And I'd be happy to read it if you want to show me. But I'd leave that up to you. <laughs> Mountains inside me until I can let them out. And that is the story of my name. 